Right, welcome to Big Brother 9 Simulation. So, the word, one of the worst seasons, but we'll see if we can get a better result for this one. In the Summer of Love Simulation. So we're going to be paired up. So let's take a look at our contestants. And we have Adam, Alex, Allison, Amanda, Chelsea, Jacob, James, Jen, Joshua, Matt, Natalie, Neil, Parker, Ryan, Sharon, and Sheila. Let's see if somebody can beat Adam and Ryan this season. Alright, so same stats as before, same relationships. Let's let relationships occur naturally. We have our couples. And we'll go to the power couple twist. So Adam and Sheila win the first power couple competition. And we are going straight to an, a, an eviction. So Adam and Sheila get to evict one pair. And they evict Chelsea and Crazy James. Two of the most polarizing members are evicted before the first HOH happens. Crazy. All right, and Allison and Ryan win our first head of household competition. Let's move on to see who they, what first couple they nominate. And they decide to nominate Jacob and Sharon and Joshua and Neil. So I forgot that it was two couples that are nominated. So we go to Vito, and Adam and Sheila are selected to compete. And Allison and Ryan win Power of Vito. We head to the Vito ceremony, and it is not used. So our final nominees are Jacob and Sharon, and Joshua and Neil. So we head to eviction, and Adam and Sheila vote to evict Jacob and Sharon. Alex and Amanda vote to evict Jacob and Sharon. Jen and Parker vote to evict Jacob and Sharon. Matt and Natalie vote to evict Jacob and Sharon. And by a vote of 4 to 0, Jacob and Sharon are evicted from the Big Brother house. Alright, so we have six people, I think five or six people gone. No, four people gone. Let's head to the next HOH competition and Jen and Parker win the HOH competition and they choose to nominate Alex and Amanda and Adam and Sheila Joshua and Neil are selected to compete and Joshua and Neil win the power of veto competition What does that do for the, the nominations? Absolutely nothing, as Alex and Amanda and Adam and Sheila remain the nominations. Alright, so Alex, Alex and Amanda get a vote from Allison and Ryan. Joshua and Neil vote Alex and Amanda. Matt and Natalie vote Alex and Amanda. Oh, my bad. And yeah, everyone votes Alex and Amanda, but so we have a vote of three to zero. Alex and Amanda, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. And now there's that's six people gone. Proceed to the couples. All right. And Joshua and Neil win head of household. And proceeding to Allison and Ryan and Jen and Parker being nominated. Alright, Adam and Sheila are selected to compete. Jen and Parker win the Power of Veto competition. And they use it on themselves and we see Joshua and Neil facing off against Matt and, Ro and Natalie. No, sorry, Joshua and Neil name Matt and Ryan. So we have Allison and Ryan and Matt and Natalie. And Matt and Natalie get a 2-0 to zero vote. This, this season continues to be unanimous votes, so hopefully something changes 
after this eviction twist. All right, Matt and Natalie are evicted by a vote of two to zero. However, only one house guest will leave. The house guest must decide who will, who will that be. Adam votes to evict Natalie. Sheila votes to evict Matt. Allison votes to evict Natalie. Ryan votes to evict Natalie. Jen votes to evict Matt. Parker votes to evict Matt. And Joshua and Neil break the tie and Matt is evicted. Natalie just skated by that episode. And we go to solo HOHs and Ryan wins head of household. Alright, and who is he after this week? He nominates the two strongest players, Joshua and Neil. It's a very smart move. Parker, Sheila, and Allison compete, and Neil wins power of veto. He uses it on himself, and Ryan names Parker as the replacement. So we have Joshua and Parker on the block. So first three votes we can see are from Natalie, Allison, and Neil, and we got three votes Parker. Sheila votes to evict Joshua. Adam votes to evict Parker, and Jen votes to evict Joshua, but by a vote of four to two, Parker is evicted from the Big Brother house. All right, and we have a returning player this episode. We're gonna decide randomly, and Adam votes for Parker to return, Sheila votes for Parker to return, Allison votes for the fan favorite winner to return. Oh, okay, so she votes for, for James. I don't know what that meant. <laughs> Ryan votes for Parker to return. Jen votes for Parker to return. Joshua votes for Parker to return. And almost, and Parker is voted by seven to one to return to the game. After being voted out, he's right back. Adam wins head of household. Will he nominate Parker? <laughs> and he does. Parker and Jen are nominated. Joshua, Ryan, and Natalie compete. And Parker wins veto. He uses it on himself, and we see Allison as the replacement. Allison or Jen are going home. Parker, Ryan, and Natalie all vote to evict Allison. Neil votes to evict Allison. Sheila votes to evict Jen. And Joshua votes to evict Jen. But by a 4-2 to two vote, we Allison is evicted. Alright, let's move on to our next HOH competition. Looks like they're gonna wanna get they're gonna need to get out Neil, Joshua, and Adam because they're dominating this game. And Ryan wins head of household. Him too. He nominates Neil and Joshua. He's going to attempt to get them out again. Parker, Natalie, and Sheila compete. Parker wins power of veto again. He uses that power of veto on Joshua, shockingly. Ryan names Natalie as the replacement. So Neil or Natalie... So Parker votes to evict Neil, Adam votes to evict Neil, Joshua votes to evict Natalie, and Jen votes to evict Natalie, Sheila votes to evict Neil. By a vote of 3 to 2, Neil is evicted. Alright, let's head to week 7 HOH. Natalie wins head of household. We're going to see probably some sort of shakeup. Not really, actually. She nominates Jen and Parker again. And Ryan, Joshua, and Adam are selected to compete. All right, Natalie wins power of veto. So we're going to likely see the end of Parker for the second time. But she decides to backdoor Joshua as she uses the power of veto on her own nomination 
and makes a strong case for her win by naming Joshua as the replacement. Parker votes to evict Josh. Sheila votes to evict Jen. Ryan votes to evict Josh. Adam votes to evict Jen. I think we have a tie. Yep, yeah, we do. And Natalie will decide to evict Jen, despite using putting Josh up as a replacement. Very weird. And eighth week, let's see who wins HOH. Josh wins HOH, which means he's going to get payback on Natalie. Oh, he does not. He's put my back door her. He decides to nominate Ryan and Sheila. All right. And Natalie, Parker, and Adam compete. And Joshua wins power of veto. And he does not backdoor Natalie. He keeps Ryan and Sheila the, the nominations. So Natalie votes to evict Ryan. Adam votes to evict Sheila. Parker votes to evict Ryan. And we have a sh we have Ryan being evicted by a two to one vote. All right, so two weeks away from our final HOH, and we have Adam, Joshua, Natalie, Parker, and Sheila. Sheila has yet to win anything, but anything can happen. So Natalie wins her second HOH, and Parker is safe, and Adam is safe. And Natalie nominates Sheila and Joshua. All right, Parker and Adam selected to compete. And Sheila wins her first competition and power of veto. She uses that on herself, and Natalie names Parker as the replacement. Will it be Parker or Joshua going home? We have a tie as Adam votes to evict Parker, Sheila votes to evict Joshua, and Natalie votes to evict Joshua. This is an interesting final situation. We got two girls, two guys. Will this be the second time that only that a guy has won in about eight seasons of simulations? Or will a girl take it home again? Sheila wins again. She started to play this half of the game. She wins head of household and she nominates Natalie and Parker. Adam is selected to compete, and Sheila wins her second power of veto. And she does not use it on anybody. So Natalie or Parker is going to be sent home. And Adam votes to evict Parker for the second time. He's evicted by a 1-0 vote, and we see the finale going we either see a Sheila Natalie finale, a Natalie Adam finale, or a Sheila Adam finale. First head of household competition goes to Sheila, who is on a roll. Natalie wins the second final HOH comp. And Natalie wins the final head of household competition. And she votes to evict Adam who was third place, almost got into, into winning this game, but just missed. And we proceed to the finale where either Sheila Kennedy will win or Natalie Cuniel will win. This suddenly exciting season. All right, so they face the jury. We'll see how this goes. So Ryan votes for Natalie to win. Neil votes for Natalie to win. Adam votes for Sheila to win. Joshua votes for Natalie to win. Parker votes for Natalie to win. Allison votes for Natalie to win. And Jen votes for Sheila. So Sheila played a great game, but not enough to... Because Natalie played a great game the whole season. And she wins by a vote of 5-2. to two. And Ryan is voted by the America as their favorite juror. 
Makes sense. Let's proceed to the placements. I think it was a great game once we got to solo. So I think right after Matt went home, this is where it started to get good. Right at Allison's eviction. All right. Weekly summary. I want to see the statistics. All right, and the most times nominated was Parker with six, Joshua with five, and Sheila with four. And most comp wins was Natalie with four, Joshua with four, and Parker with four, and Ryan with four. And HOH wins were Natalie with three, Ryan with three, and Joshua with two. Parker won the most vetoes with three, followed by Neil, Joshua, Sheila with two. All right. All right. And thank you for listening. And get ready for uh, Big Brother 10 coming soon and Survivor Africa coming soon.